Turn down my phone too. I have a jaw while that goes off. It's it's funny during the uh, during the uh, uh, cantina podcast because yeah, uh, yeah. Jawas, you, you know, so it's like oh, there's a jaw Jawa in my pocket or whatever. No, for me, like I like the the nu- nuclear launch detected. Oh, yeah. yeah, for me, it's it's like in in the the group chat um, with your family. It's mm. it's Spike. Oh, somebody, somebody put a stake, put a stake in me. Yeah, stake in me because our our family is constantly on that that one. That's yeah, okay. I thought it was fitting. So yeah, we we love them. And anyways, yes. hey guys, it's Monday morning, and that means it's time for the daily hop of genre, the the show where we get to talk about uh, crap. My my brain just. Dumped everything. We get to talk intro. about stuff. We get to talk, talk about everything in, in entertainment news, uh, geek and pop, pop culture, sponsored by Grow Generation, where the, where the pros do go to grow, uh, lrmonline.com, genreverse.com, and uh, of course, check out our, uh, if you're watching or listening, of course, you've already ch- checked it out, but please do subscribe on the on the LRM YouTube channel, uh, fo- follow us or subscribe on your favorite podcast app to the Genreverse Podcast ne- Network. Wherever you get those from, I think I already said that. I'm Kyle. She's Christine. There's information down below. I forgot to update the uh, o- overlay for Cr- Christine, who is on uh, Twitter at Ad- Adorable Doom, but that will be in the description uh, boxes, and okay. hopefully, I can remember to fix the overlay before tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it's it's m- Monday, and and it was a uh, uh, both a sh- short and a l- long weekend for for me how how how'd you how you doing <laughs> i don't know i i didn't want to do anything um I didn't want to had, it, to had to yeah although like part of it was you know we we did get to enjoy the 3d printer yes. you know you did some research Yesterday. and yeah it was fun yeah and i got a nice little robot and lucas got a companion cube and what else did I what what else did i make oh the coin uh i made the fir- first thing i printed was the power coin i gave that to them, and then I gave I uh, printed out um, what was supposed to be like an a- aperture science uh, keychain, um, oh. but I hadn't dialed every everything in, so yeah, it didn't didn't quite work, work out as as planned. But we're a week away from Halloween. I yep. mean, yeah, you know, um, I, I guess that's that's cool. It doesn't. It feels like it, but it but it doesn't. I, I, I don't know. know why why, and we even decorated like la- last month to try to get in into the mood fa- faster you know, you know yeah uh yeah i guess you know that guys what we do on M- mondays we like to look at at the uh box office a l- little bit talk about about it again guys i'm t- telling you you <laughs> this is not g- good dune pulling in an, an estimated 40 million 220 worldwide no- nothing to s- sneeze at it is uh, it has gotten a re- release in China, if I'm not mistaken. Um, check out, out the that's the dom- domestic. Where's the wor- worldwide international? Uh, yeah, so uh, China has had uh, is is getting a uh, Dune. France is the no- number one for foreign mar- market right right at this uh, mo- moment. Um, <sighs> these these numbers guys they're just in, indicative of the of the fact t- to me there's a lot of people that were willing to wait and, and watch it on uh hbo max mm-hmm. uh you you and i have not watched it yet because we we did want to try to to see it in the theaters and we uh i want to look at the schedules during during the, the week it's a long mo- movie so yeah uh, i don't don't quite know but when when you look when you look at all of the the uh, charts going back weeks and and looking at the the, the drops, you know, everyone's like, oh, uh, uh, no, no time to die had a really really good you know drop, fifty seven percent. That's be- better than sixty four, sixty eight, seventy. Yeah, but it was fifty seven percent off of you know fifty some odd, sixty some some odd some odd million. Uh, and then uh, you know, let let there be be carnage. Uh, had a 65% drop despite a really you know strong sh- showing on on its opening week at 90 million dollars yeah. um part of it w- was the fact that uh you you had to c- compete with uh no time no time uh to to die the fo- following week but even then people just just aren't going and it's and it's not 
and it's not just the quality of, of films because people want to keep saying oh it's because they're not making the things we we want to see well p- people are watching these things they're they're going yeah. on on uh uh streaming and and watching them they're they're being down downloaded e- illegally of course because anything that you put put on streaming can can be uh ripped in in high 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 quality and uh don't don't break break the 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 law but there, there are p- people that you know pirate out of near necessity will will say but uh then you then you just have the pe- people that are just like ah man if i could get it for free i'm i'm going to get it for free mm-hmm. uh D- dune they already said that you know it's not gonna uh be be reliant reliant on its box office a- alone for for this <laughs> sequel i'm almost get guaranteeing the sequel it might even already be be green green lit i'm not not 100% certain. Uh Hall- Halloween Kills did what mo- most uh um uh horror movies have have done uh done really really well well. Uh d- despite being on uh sh- streaming, there is a group of fans that are d- dedicated to, to horror movies and it se- seems like they are st- still going going out in bigger numbers than the general population if that makes sense. You've been very quiet. I know it's box office time, but yeah, I know, and it's yeah. I don't really. <sighs> I just have much to, to say. So I mean, do, do do you not see it though? I mean, of course, I I see it. Where it's you know our our theaters are are suffering. The the movies, they're they're suffering, and it's like y'all need to get out there. Um, if if you want things to to keep going, um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to make my way out um you know with you to see dune i would i would like to see halloween kills mm-hmm. in theaters so would I. I don't know if that's possible with our schedule yeah. but i would love that um and that's so. the that's the other a- aspect of it i whenever i'm saying like go out and support i'm not saying watch movies someone doesn't want to watch if you're yeah. if you're on it wait of course I'm not saying put your. I'm, I'm not even knocking people that are u- using sh- streaming for th- things like ours. We got a special needs son, and ba- babysitters are hard enough to come by f- for that. Let alone c- come by during a, a pan- 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 pandemic. Uh, so I get get it. We we literally have not watched things for for days because we so bad badly want to see them in mm-hmm. in theaters. That that putting on a HBO Max is is like a last. It's like fuck. Whatever. I just I have I have to see see it. Yeah. Um, I'm t- talking about the people that are actively go- going. I'll wait. Wait. I really want to see it, but I I can wait, so I will. Or it'll mm. be in free or or included in cost. So I'm gonna wait. But that guys is is gonna cause ma- major major I- issues. Uh, it's already ca- causing ish- issues. I saw on on Twitter over the over the weekend. Uh, um, that someone was c- complaining about about uh, 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 Warner Brothers um, changing the post poster for for Dune in in China, and it was to you know to shrink or or straight up e- erase a, a, a black female character. I can't, I can't remember the character's name or a- actress's name, but uh, it was similar to the the, the Force Force Awakens si- yeah. situation with with the the Finn Finn character, but one of the things that the that the person c- complaining didn't didn't bring up was the the fact that well, guys, Warner Brothers has got got to make money to pay not just the the actors the the talent not not just the cre- creators but the, the, the cast and crew or the the crew me- crew members you know everyone that that's wor- working yeah, uh, behind people. the camera yeah we're not seeing the, these mo- movies we're not buying merchandise we're all too too happy to to send uh subscription fees but guys um a hundred mi- million people paying 10 1099 to see see a movie ver- versus a hundred million of and all that money going to you know that that one project. I know it goes into a pull for the for the banks, but this is a way that that you can actually measure su- successes on the these uh, uh, projects. So then you take a hundred million people watching a, a movie released on streaming. 
where yeah sure all hundred and million say paid twelve nine ninety nine for uh, subscriptions th that month, but how many other projects got put are, in that put too? Put on in with that that as well. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm so sorry, but a hundred million people that go and see three movies from a studio in a, in a year, each paying eleven dollars ten ninety nine or what whatever per per mo movie, is going to be a hell of a lot more. Than what what they're do, doing when they buy their subscriptions and and let them let them go. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't add add up, and 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 again, high piracy and 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 all all of that goes into it. So here here's the thing thing, is it garbage? Yeah, it's fucking garbage. But be be more a angry at at the the fact that there there are en enough. Uh, people in China that don't like black people or have bad opinions of black people or it's the whatever the case is be mad at that that yeah like you're you're you you spend all this this time talking about how awful uh uh Japan uh and and anime is and how awful uh um, um, America it is you won't call out certain groups that are awful t to women, awful to L LGBTQ, awful to, to blacks and and other other mi minorities. C call them fucking out. Yeah. I mean, by all means, call out what Warner Brothers. Hey guys, that's pr pretty fucking pussy. Sorry, sorry, but it, it is. And 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 you did did it with Finn, and this time it, it seems like they they took her off the poster completely instead of just uh, shrinking, but. Fuck, man! They gotta pay pay the bills, and if you want to see a black yeah. person on screen screen again, and and making uh 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 projects behind behind the camera as as well, so someone's gotta give them money. Yeah. And and God, if if you guys don't don't like that they're they're going to China for for money, then if you're not going to go to the th theaters, buy the fucking Blu-ray or DVD. Yeah. Buy a fucking shirt, a poster. Support it with mer merchandise, and I I'm t telling you guys right now, stop, stop looking at whatever's j just on the the screen, and understand what's that going on. Everything, yeah. but everyone, but behind the behind the camera as well is reliant on your patronage. Exactly. Yeah, people will donate money to um, people's Patreon, but it's like. It, it works other ways too and um that is a good point right there. yeah they'll, they'll they'll subscribe Patreon. and watch someone like yeah like you know there's there's people out there who you know they do stuff like this or they they make other types of content and that's great but it's like look at it like that they they need money as well that you, is a damn good good way to point it how many how many of you got guys are spending five six seven dollars maybe maybe more on on uh, a Patreon s subscription, and then literally, you know, sitting there, oh, I'll wait for for uh, Song Chi to hit streaming, when you don't have to, and that that's what I'm getting at. Again, yeah. this is not hitting on on people that have le legitimate issues, c concerns, health, financial, all all of that. This is this is me me begging people to support what you like. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Uh, otherwise, I'm getting a little flustered. Uh, well, look, yeah. it, it's I love I love movies. Me too, and, and it gets frustrating. Yeah, and it's like I I said I want to be a appealed to, and that doesn't mean that Chinese culture, Asian cultures doesn't appeal to me. I guarantee to you that I have, and not just just anime, may, but I have way way more uh, Korean, Chinese, and and J Japanese uh, uh, media in in this house than than m most people do. And I, like I said, that's not even counting the the anime. That being said, said I am an an, Amer an American. I have American culture. Sure, I have Amer American ex experiences. And while I can wholeheartedly enjoy enjoy things from, from other cultures, I still want to be told Amer American stories. Yeah. And I I love it when those American stories look like America and have white people and black black people and his Hispanic and na Native Americans and a Asian and everything because America is a giant giant freaking melting pot pot. But if we don't support the the movies, China's gonna be like, well, well, we're gonna order the movies, but we're we're not we're not watching the the ones with you know huge minority casts. And then yeah. guess, guess what? 
those projects are going to disappear. So yeah. if you want, if you want to support my minorities, LBGTQ, if you, you want to support women's projects, then you also have to kind of support the big, big projects to kind of float, float them, or at least accept that maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll have to let China float the big blockbusters. And you're gonna have to deal with with mar marginalization and and, and a advertising because yeah, you that. won't go wa watch it, and that's on that's on you. But yeah. but may maybe if China floats the big big shit, maybe small projects will continue to succeed on on streaming. But but I mean, is that is that where these stories belong? Is that what they they deserve? Deserve is that what the 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 uh the uh a, a, the next Jordan Peele uh uh is, is hoping man, man i just can't can't wait to have that next amazon smash hit yeah i'm sorry guys i know i know my my, my monday days but it's it's sir it's a it's a big big deal deal these num numbers are awful and it yeah it's not just the pandemic any anymore because I see people at sporting events. I see pe people at con concerts and sh shows. People at stand-up e events. You're you're indoors indoor and you're out outdoors already. Restaurants are full. Bars are full. It is not. It is not ju just the pandemic. Stop putting it off on other things, and. Accept your your choices, whether it's it's one out of necessity or one out of just fuck fucking cheapness and laziness. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's the box. box yeah, no one's part. yeah, and it's no one's twisting your arm, but it is something to think about. And it, it does get frustrating because, like, for some people who are going to see these these films and they do understand what's going on and they don't want it to happen, it's it's frustrating because they can't, you know, they can't make people go. No one can yeah. make you go, so it's it's all, it's all gonna go go away eventually. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be be a time like I like I said where, where eat, uh, foreign markets just gonna dictate. Enter entertainment either completely or all of the ma mainstream stuff and we're we are going to be be we're going to we're going to be like europe and that, that's not a knock against, against europe but we're going to we're going to be be like europe where it's like yeah sh all this the, these big hollywood movies are influenced by uh, america and, and Amer american th things uh while all of the you know U uk or G german france things might be sort of big big there they don't really make it outside of their countries very very often and they don't get s spoken to by by hollywood all mm -hmm. all, all the time time and th that's that it's it's the the case of b where where you are born and yeah this is a first world fucking ish issue but Without mo movie, he's without TV, without ga games, comics, ma manga, and without all all of without inter entertainment. Where is he human li life? Yeah, it, you can't just work your work, eat, go to sleep. I mean, it's it's a way to escape. It's a way to unwind and enjoy something. Um, so some people they need that. I know I need that. Yeah. So De definitely. Almost as much as we need to take a real quick break from our sponsors, so we can reset and get get rid of some of this ag aggression and get into some uh, uh, other stories. So, uh, yeah, gr Grow Generation, please. Grow Generation, wait. where the pros go to grow. For all of your cultivation needs, Grow Generation has the right products, service, and staff to make your grow successful. Go to www.growgeneration.com, where the pros go to grow. And thank you guys so much for sponsoring the episode. So. Yeah, if any, anyone's still still here after the the rant rant, sorry sorry, but like I said, I I, I see a lot of, I, I see a lot more than what most people do just from having a, a passion for for um business and and enter, entertainment. So I, I I see big bigger pictures that people aren't thinking. Like when I mentioned yeah, you... cast or crew crew members, I don't know why I keep saying cast. 
I'm always used to saying cast and crew. Crew, exactly. But cr- crew members. But yeah, you, and, you have uh, that eye. You have that desire to obtain that knowledge. So you go and seek it out. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's one thing that I would like to kind of start doing doing here. And, and that's uh, doing kind of like a rundown of what, what we may have what people may have missed over over the weekend and just kind of look at a few of the uh, stories available on, on lrmonline.com. Uh, make sure you guys check. Oh, look, there, there we are. Yep. Um, so, so some of the things that, that came out, out uh, uh, there's um, uh, casting news for the Lord, Lord of the Rings uh, show coming uh, to, to Amazon. Amazon. Uh, the uh, uh, Isildur or... Uh, Human uh, king from from second age or first age, whatever, a old stuff, right? Right, uh, has been has been cast, and and there you go, right, right there. That's uh, what, what's his name from uh, Rogue One, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I I think so. Um, I don't I don't know. May maybe. He's down a little further. Um, Cam, how do you write your your piece, piece dude? <laughs> like, where is the guy's freaking name? <laughs> um, Ma- Maxim ba- Baldry. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm not not quite sure. I don't remember. No, guess not. What what has he been been in? Uh, Let's see here, Doctor Who, and well, we got the Lord of the Rings stuff that we know. So a lot of t- TV shows, like Placid Legacy. Legacy. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay, so re- relative new newcomer, relative newcomer. Um, you know, I when it comes to the to the Lord of the when it comes to the Lord of the Rings, uh, I like it. I don't, I don't read all the extra. Extra stuff. I, I read the original books. I read read the Hobbit. Unfortunately, uh, in middle school, which I think was way too, too young to watch, uh, read read those and enjoy, enjoy them. Even though a lot lots of people did did. Yeah, the movies just, are cool. How are you feeling about this the show? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, for me, like I, I have to be careful with with what I read because the way that the books are, are are written it's it's hard for it to to keep my interest so i kind of like zone out and and i'm trying to get back in but it's mm-hmm. it's like you know like i'm i'm reading something i'm like i did not absorb what i just took in at all like it just left and i was like okay let me try again and so and then sometimes like it it you know can make me go to sleep cuz reading does that to me so it's for me reading can be kind of hard um so i I do like to watch TV. It, it works better for me. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to see it. Uh, the other big news that, that ha- happened over over the week, weekend was uh, Anakin Skywalker being announced for the uh, Ahsoka series. Um, I I have a lot of thoughts on, on that. I know you do. And I, I can't go into another rant. Uh, so you got, guys will have to tune, tune into the can, cantina the, this fri- Friday. But I, I'll say the, this ab- about that I- idea. Um, I, I get, get that the sequel trilogy le- left a lot of whole holes, mu- much like the pre- prequel tr- trilogy, which for some reason fans seem to forget. Oh, well, they, they filled that all in the Clone Wars. Yeah, that, that's right, guys. Everything you, you like about the prequel era usually comes from that cartoon, not from the m- movies themselves, or uh, it's stu- stuff from the car- cartoon that you are putting into the context of the of the pre- prequels. But the pre- prequels standing on, on their own, garbage the sequels standing on their their own slightly less g- garbage uh but still the garbage so i can't i'm tired of spinning our wheels to fix sh- shit surrounding like i'm t- i'm tired of spending time dealing with characters from from the pre- prequels and and, and and original trilogy whether that was ma- making ray up palpatine and in in uh rise of, of sky skywalker or constantly having to deal with with skywalkers mm-hmm. um 
It was <sighs> it was great with like the Mandalorian because Luke Skywalker only had like this little bit in there and it's it's not about him. Yeah. You know, and and that's what I want. I want more stories to where it's not going to be around you know, those same stories cuz it's like there's there's a whole galaxy there. Well, it's not not only that and and the stuff might be good. Good. I yeah. might even in, in enjoy it. Yeah. You, you know, uh, Anakin. I I think George Lucas is a god god awful fucking human being for for put, putting Hayden Christensen at the end of Je Jedi. I think it it ruins everything about how how when and where Anakin die, dies. And I don't care what George ex explains. Okay. He had it one way, and then he just fucking de decided to, to 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 do do it di differently i got it he's the, the creator but but on honestly like i said said i'm tired of people going back into star wars to fix shit we cannot yeah. move forward if you guys keep insisting on sticking with the same people so anyways before i go go yeah. too <laughs> crazy with that one uh and everyone's probably like geez kyle you're such an a asshole no like i said i i hope this stuff is all good but really do other do. things. But I want. I can't. We're never going to see anything new, if everyone went. And look, I got it. They did look bad. I just said the sequels are tr trash. I wish. I wish though, that we we had never even gotten them in the 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 Force Awakens. I would have rather set a hundred years in the future. Mm. Maybe have Luke, Luke appear as a Force ghost, and that's it. Yeah. Like straight straight at this point. Be because now it's just like this is like having to get in into Star Wars for a fourth time mm. because they just have to keep rebooting stuff to to add to it. So I I hope that that it's all good good and that I enjoy it. And there's a really good chance that I, I might. However, if you said we will give you this stuff with these characters, it's gonna make the the sequel tr trilogy better. Uh. And and we're gonna have you know three or four seasons, three or four years of all all of this stuff le leading up to the to the sequel trilogy that'll actually make make it be better. I'm I'm so so mad at you guys fucking it up. You Lu Lucasfilm fucked it up in the prequel tri trilogy, and Lucasfilm fucked it up in the in the sequel tri trilogy. I'm tired of you guys having to to go back because you, you keep going somewhere and fucking with shit. So no, yeah. I would choose something different. Even if you said you're going to, to fix things, you're going to make things better. It's just at this point, I'm I'm just done. I I don't care to see it. Even if it's g good, I don't want to see it. I'd rather get, I'd rather take my chances with something different. Yeah, like going Burned way out. back in the past or go way into the future, you know, or you know, other characters at around the same time. Which would be fine. Mm -hmm. um, we've mentioned this before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, um, yeah. Other th things. Uh, World War Hulk, Hulk movie is being uh, um, talk talked about. And I didn't care for the for the, for the the comic book. This does feed, feed into some, some rumors of Illuminati, Illuminati being in, in the M MCU. In, in the MCU, which are ones that send the banner off and uh we we saw in song chi that that banner's back in human form which means there might be some I issues between him and the, and the hulk again so are they going to send him back to back to sakar to deal with having a, a kid a wife or, or what not not or will they say that he bothered uh someone on sakar during mm. Rag ragnarok i i don't know I just, I don't know. Are you, are you, ex are you even interested in seeing a a Hulk centric movie again, or do you no. like him better with others? I, I like I like seeing Hulk in in everyone else's movies. Um, You're fine. Okay, yeah, I was wondering what you <laughs> were good. doing. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not into this. <laughs> it's just not my thing. Um, I I. I love the the MCU and in, in, in ge general. I I've, I I agree. Like there there's things that are coming up that I'm really scared of. I don't understand mm. why why everyone wants to see things that you know five six years ago they they swore they they hated ha hashtag give 
give the rights back to Marvel. But again, it could all land really, really well. Well, do do really good. Good. The thing about the the Hulk, the though, and the thing about War, World War Hulk, Hulk is I I'm not quite power creep is a is a real problem in the MCU. Like like I don't know we're we're about to see the Etern Eternals deal with you know de deviants and and yeah. celestials where we've seen uh uh thanos and the infinity gauntlet uh we, we've done we're going to be dealing with kang the conqueror and and all all of this all of this stuff is a pissed off hulk that can smash the earth really that that big of a of a deal like no i don't know if i can it's it's not only that for me um i had the same opinion with um, the Fantastic Four, mm. you know, because like um, the 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 two Hulk m movies, the um, I'm trying to remember the actors' names. Um, Ed Norton and, and, and uh, you're talking about the very, very first yeah, uh, Angley that was um, Eric Ban Banna. Thank you. I yeah, I was like Eric something, but yeah, like I didn't really like that one. Um, the the one with Edward Norton was was good, but it's it's like I'm now have a new person as as the hulk and then like with um the fantastic four with all of that being a giant mess um done twice um i'm just like i'm not interested i'd yeah. rather you know if 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 they were going to bring it just have it not have their own movies you know because of screw up some kind of like eh, i'm just done you know it's just how i feel where it's like no just be in someone else's movie because I don't. Same with Fantastic Four. I'm like I don't want to see a solo project of theirs. I'm just I don't. I do, dude. That I, don't. I dis that I I a hundred percent dis dis disagree with. Screwed but, up twice. I'm like well, I'm done. That that's and now here here's where people can be be like Kyle, you're 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 uh, a hypocrite because what you just said said is is uh, obviously true. Yeah. But, but here's where I'm going to prove that that I'm not a, a hypocrite because I don't want any of the past Fantastic Four involved in this at yeah. all. I don't. I don't want to admit that the Fox Fantastic Four existed. Unfortunately, I have a I have a feeling no no no, no knowledge, but I have a feeling that that they w will just like uh, I can't say too, too much. I j I'll just just say guys that that um. Your the, the multiverse thing thing might not be as as because there's a lot of the baggage from from Fox Studio Studios. I don't don't know if you guys remember how awful most of those movies from them were. Um, but the w way to do, do it to to have had them often time. They think about it in in the in the space between uh in the space between uh um. Uh, World War Two, right? The founding of uh, Shield, uh, uh, the the SSI strategic or SSR our strategic scientific. Research. Anyways, uh, from from Shield to Captain Marvel, uh, you, you've got all this this space space, right? This time time blank blank time time period. Yeah. You you have Richards and 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 Von Doom, classic. Like even set it in the fucking sixties, like like set it like that, okay? And they go off on their their mission and they're they're lost, okay? Uh, Doom is actually dumped out of the cosmic uh, event or whatever earlier than the other Fantastic Four, right? Mm -hmm. So he comes back to Earth. He's already messed up. He's been been in lot lot very uh doing do Doom things, right? Mm -hmm. Time for for us has been been decades. For them, it's only a few years. When the when the fork come out, they've been live living out on on the the ship and other planets or whatever, trying to get get back home. And it's been maybe four, five, six years, so we can get little Franklin and uh, uh what's his sisters of uh, uh, uh Val Valerie Valeria uh, the the Richards kids right mm -hmm. the uh, the two, two kids. So the family c comes out ch changed, having li lived. As the Fantastic Four out in space for four or five five years, but here on Earth, 70, 80 years has gone by. And Doom mm -hmm. came out, you know, 10 years, 15 years ago. So he's 10 or 15 years older than the Fantastic Four them, themselves. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Uh, so it's you won't just get a a, a fish out of water because because uh, they're not necessarily just out of, out of time. They're out of time and and space. Mm. And I think that would be a really u- unique way to hold hold on to a lot of the fun uh, sixty a- aspects and and things that really brought the Fantastic Four in into the the comic world. Uh, what what do you think about something like that? I probably wouldn't want to see it in theaters, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, eh, okay, I'll watch it. Just, but yeah, like that one, I wouldn't be interested in seeing in theaters. But I mean, you've got something there. I'll, <laughs> I don't want to say the R word. I hate saying the R word. And John John Watts, uh, the guy that's directed the um, uh, Homecoming trilogy, Spider Man, mm-hmm. uh, Spider Man's Marvel trilo- trilogy. Uh, he's going to be uh, di- directing the, the Fantastic Four, Four movie when, if and when it ever, ever does uh, mm-hmm. come out. So, so yeah. Uh, the la- last kind of thing I wanted to t- talk about, and uh, I ho- hope everyone has been in- enjo- enjoying the, the sh- show. And like I said, sorry, it was kind of like m- m- case of the Mondays, De- De- Debbie da- Downer or whatever, Donnie Downer. Downer. Uh, I get that passion about about the, these 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 things as as know. <laughs> happy as I can get over ideas like my my uh, uh, Fantastic Four idea. I can I, I get a- angry too, but um, let us know in the comments. You know, or fight back, argue back, back or support support. Uh, you, you know, and and I do want to try to get the live live shows go going again. Hopefully, we can get some. Uh, d- debates, conversations go- going with uh, fans, but, but one conversation I do want to have is about monster movies because, like I said, we're a week away from Hall- Halloween, mm-hmm. and and uh, I don't really want to uh, recommend mo- movies a- every day th- this week, but I want to talk about a different horror thing, and then on fr- Friday frights we'll we'll make another re- recommend recommendation. But okay. classic mo- monsters, excuse me. Frankenstein, Creature from Black Lagoon, Visible Man. People think Universal's monsters. I'm not Mm -hmm. talking just the Universal versions, but but those monsters. Vampires, Frankenstein's monsters, werewolves, things like that. Christine, I know your family had off and on things with horror monsters and and, uh, occult stuff. Did you guys get to watch vampires and werewolves growing up? I don't think I did. I, I can't place it. Like, um, so then, no. how did you get exposed to those classic mo- monsters? Have you seen like the classic uh, Christopher Lee or or uh, uh, um, Lugosi or uh, what's the other guy I'm mi- missing? There's another famous horror actor I'm missing besides. Chris. Have you seen any of the old old classics? No. Um... I've watched a lot of classics with my grandfather. He watched a lot of classics and, and westerns, but he didn't ever touch into those. And I just, I've never made time for him. Um, so how'd you get into va- vampires and w- werewolves and mummy mummies? I will say this. I did watch um, The Mummy and The Mummy Returns growing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was a lot older. I did watch that one. I really enjoyed. That was like my first little taste, and I was like, "Yeah, there's more, and I want to, I want to see it." Um, knew about all of that, but I can't place my childhood with any of that. Just <laughs> adulthood, like just watching a bunch of stuff. Um, so I know, I know, I've been able to show show you a lot of. Things that you 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 missed out on, like yeah. last year year we finally bought, watched Bram Stoker's Dr- Dracula and th- things like that. Yeah, that was really good. I was l- lucky enough to have fa- family that were in, into horror. L- looking at you, Uncle Uncle Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I I saw th- things yeah. way t- earlier than than I prob- probably should have, but but I o- always re- really enjoyed those those classic monsters. There's something about, about vam- vampires that is j- just cool whether it's yeah. whether it's cool fun, fun teen, teenage vamps and like uh uh lost boys you know where you're you're like man yeah if i was a vampire i'd i'd fly fly around and hang under bridges too too but but then you can get in into the really 
dark, you know, cerebral stuff like 30, 30 Days of Night, which is that was really was good. Awesome. You know, God, no, 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 motherfucker. We, we got we got you you on lock for, for a month. There, there is no God. No, uh, I, lo- I love that move, movie. Um, And then like really the, the mummy, you, you mentioned that. Mm-hmm. Brendan Fraser's my mummy is brilliant. Um, it's the best best version of the my mummy. It's fun. It's it's, it's yeah. exciting. It, it mixes uh Indiana Jones with the classic classic mummy. It's comedy, horror, action, and ad- adventure. I love. Yeah, I it love checks it. a lot of boxes. Yeah. And yeah, I've watched was o- it in a okay. Line. Yeah. After that, no. <laughs> I didn't watch. I didn't watch anything after the second one. Um, and I couldn't. I couldn't get through Scorpion King. <laughs> oh my god, I hated that one. I hated it. Well, I feel. So I feel bad. bad, but yeah, it's like oh Thank no. Thank you so much, Rock, for keeping on, keep, keeping on though, because you're awesome today. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, it's it's just something like you know. It's direction. It's it's not just it's not his fault yeah. on why I hate it. But the there's CGI. Oh, God. yeah. <laughs> uh, I know t- time and, and stuff, but you can definitely t- tell that they they didn't put a lot a lot of money into into that that one. Um, the, you know, wait, what? I did watch the third one. Now, yeah, I remember the I watched Dragon Tomb of the Dragon King or whatever. I think I did. China. I, yeah, I, I, I don't. Think it was China. I think I did. I don't remember, um, but yeah. What uh, speaking of China, Chinese influence on 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 Amer- American media? It's not something new. new. Uh, when you got bill, billion plus people to well, watch a movie, um, one of the th- things a lot of pe- people you, you o- always see it being done so wrong. F- Frankenstein's mon- monster, mm-hmm. but like uh, the the nineteen nineties Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is actually pretty decent. Scent. Uh, what, didn't they just do do another one with like Dan, Daniel Radcliffe or Elijah Wood? Was it one of those one of those glasses wear, wearing people that did a fantasy? Elijah thing. Wood wearing glasses. I don't know why people confuse the two of them. I don't, I know, don't no. see it. Uh, I don't. <laughs> so other people do. It's not just me. Me good. Yeah, because uh, it's like one of the things like I've I've seen like where people confuse them. I'm like I don't <laughs> see how you can confuse them. But okay. Uh, uh, but when when it comes to for, for, uh, Frankenstein's mo- monster, the best, the best movie is Young Frankenstein. Yeah, hands down, loved it. You, you got Gene Wild, Gene Wilder, in in just top freaking notch. Victor, v- Victor, Victor Frankenstein, it was, uh, uh, McAvoy. That's the that's who who it was. Who else was in it? Daniel Radcliffe. It was James Radcliffe. Mac- I knew I saw one of the those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew I saw, there you saw go. one of them. One of them. Uh so, so yeah. Uh young 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 Frankenstein is it's just a br- brilliant take. I love it when some there's there's two things I re- really like to do is is to take take a a, a classic store story, right? Mm-hmm. Like like for Frankenstein or Peter Pan, okay, because you know where I'm going to go with, with yes, that I one. do. And you can take just the basis uh, of it, right, and then go off on a wild thing. So, so if if uh, uh you know Frankenstein ex- existed, cre- creates this monster, there's obviously going to be be a legacy and an es- and an estate that'll eventually get handed down to someone. And there, there you've got young young Frankenstein, right? So someone trying to get get away from their their family's lineage and and mm-hmm. and and all, all and what whatnot. Or you could take and and it becomes funny. So you take this scary deep you know dark story, you make it. Funny, or you can take yeah. something so lighthearted and, and happy go go lucky as as Peter Pan. Come with me on a magical adventure. I'll take take you away from this or orphanage, and we'll get to have fun flying around. And oh, every now and now and then, I'm gonna make make you face a bloody war against mur- murderous pirates. Yeah. So you take that story, and you're like, well, who who are the kids Peter would try to c- convince to come with him? Lost kid, kids, right? They went to the orphanage. Well, wouldn't you just go find like ho- homeless people and and abused people? And that's how you get Brahms, uh, the the child thief, which I still like. Maybe he just won't won't let let them. But for Brahm, anime animated ch- ch- child thief, dude. Something child like that. Thief I by, think that would be really powerhouse cool. animation. Mother, fuck yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, 
If you guys have not read The Ch- Child Thief, ch- check it out. I didn't finish it, but what I did read, I enjoyed it. Because, again, books and yeah. me don't get along. <laughs> Just the, the the opening of the book book is just so bad. It's a, yeah. a little it's a little girl, girl scared that her dad's gonna come in and do the bad thing again. And Peter comes in and kills him. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, "I'll take you away from from here." And you're you're like, "Yeah, that's that's what Peter Pan, Pan did." Peter Pan fucking enlisted child. So Peter Peter Pan's a dick. Yeah, D- dude. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the the. But one mo- monster that I never really cared t- too much for for is the wolf wolf man. I don't care about were- were- werewolves too too much. Yeah, Do you ever okay. get into American Werewolf in Lo- London or or anything any any werewolf mo- movies? No, because they just don't seem very interesting to me. Um, Did you like un- Underworld at all? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, sorry. Um, um, I do appreciate, you know, the 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 franchise, you know, because it's when whenever you have, because um, it was really successful, and and anytime you have something that's successful, it can pave the way for some mm-hmm. some other projects. So, you know, I I do appreciate that, you know, people enjoyed it, but it's just not me, not not my cup of tea. Um, I did see um, the first movie of Twilight, mm-hmm. and I'm like, werewolves are. They're they're out. Um, no, <laughs> no, that was weird. That was awful. I'm so creeped out. Um, there is one uh, where where movie with a were, werewolf that I know I I absolutely love, and that's Monster Squad, which inclu- includes all the classic Universal monsters. If you guys have never yeah, seen it, good. I believe it's on uh, either Hulu or M- Amazon Prime. It is, uh, or at least it was last week available for for streaming uh check check that that out it's that right there is all ultimate kid kids escapism a bunch of teens into mm-hmm. into mo- mo- teens and preteens into mo- monsters that all of a sudden f- find themselves uh bef- befriending frankenstein's monster while Dra- dracula and, and company run, run amok uh they then use all of their you know horror, horror movie not knowledge to deal with with the the monsters it's so it's so so fun and there's just this great scene where the wolf man is atta- attacking and they're like dude kick him in the n- nards kick him in the nards which is a, a old word for, for nuts paramount and, and he's like he's like um uh, it's, it's on nice. paramount plus it's on paramount plus it's um amazon prime video but i would be afraid they might they might amazon offer it for a subscription yeah uh, it says free on on youtube as as well so well, that's yeah, good there's, there's yeah. some places some some options you can watch it uh he, the kid's like wolfman wolfman's got no no nards it's like yeah d- dude just do it any anyways kick some wolfman wolfman's got nards it's a, it's a great great scene love it uh who, what is your, your favorite classic monster? Not necessarily movie, just the mo- monster, monster itself. itself. Um, vampires. I love the viciousness of vampires when it's when it's done in a vicious way. <laughs> um, I loved Buffy, and I liked how they, they did both, where mm-hmm. it's like good, bad type thing. Um, uh, bad. Mostly. Neutral bad. Evil bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Um, and like you had said, uh, 30 Days of Night. I, I like stuff like that where, you know, it's a good bad guy, mm-hmm. um, not not a romance. What do you think about about that that whole period? Not just t- Twilight. You know, you mentioned mm-hmm. Buffy, and, and you and I both both love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But uh, what do you, what'd you think about the, the almost still ongoing romanticization of vam- vampires like – it's especially when it when it's like vampires de- decades to, to centuries old and with a high school ch- chick it, like it's gross it was was it gross back back then too <laughs> yeah where it's like i didn't really like the the buffy angel i mean mm-hmm. it was it was okay but to me it's it's still that it's still kind of that ick, ick thing <laughs> yeah cuz it's like ick. he's cold so getting a, like not not trying to get too graphic. Yeah, exactly. But he's cold, <laughs> so <laughs> even a hug without a shirt on, it's oh. like ah no. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I don't I don't get that. 
I don't get the r- romanticization of uh, werewolves as well. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's weird. Um, I do like how, because I, I understand where the um, the romanticization of vampires came from, because, you know, they're they're trying to charm you, they're trying to lure you, mm-hmm. but they're still, you know, meant to be bad guys. Um, so, like, I get where they started that, but it's still kind of weird. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I think over, overall, what are you doing? Oh, scratching, scratching my foot. Something. I was like, you were lo- looking at me weird. Like, I was Sorry, like, did I foot, do something weird? My foot itches. Uh, I, I have to c- kind of a- agree that va- vampires are p- probably the, the best. Uh, mostly because of how many good sto- stories we, we've gotten with them, you, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, however, I th- think the, the one that's been most under you utilize and un under uh uh d- done has has been for frankenstein's mon- monster and Fra- frankenstein dr frankenstein himself and that that's because well one mary shelley's Fra- frankenstein uh the mo- movie from the from the 90s was done so, so well it's a it's a great great ver- version of of it okay. uh and then additionally it's so there's not a whole lot to to do so you yeah have things like victor frankenstein where they're just trying to up, update mary, mary shelley's you have to, things like uh i frankenstein where they're trying trying to make him a su- superhero type type deal it was based on a on a com- comic i'm not knocking the the idea i'm just saying yeah. it's like what else do you do with a with a with a man trying to create an, a, another another man and and what i think that uh that they're missing is to to go d- deeper into the the mental part of it the this that is a very cerebral type uh 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 thing and dare i say because it's so cerebral and more uh thriller than necessarily horror could could we explore dr frankenstein and his monster not in a long running series but a dedicated mini series of of sorts maybe four hours over you know six episodes and that's it it's it's literally think, just one and one and done yeah how it's like set up where you know it can be scary but you know of course we all know the story that you know dr frankenstein is the monster mm-hmm. where you could make a horror movie out of it where it's like House of a Thousand Corpses, where it's like some nasty now, experimentation. That is, that is a cool, cool idea. Yeah. I didn't think about go, going that, that route. I, I think that would be a good idea. I mean, and then, of course, um, Frankenstein's yeah. monster is the victim. And, you know, we we all get that. So that's like the only way that I can think to make it scary. D- d- different and, and scarier and embrace the psych- psychoticness of... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could, uh, and it's especially especially the body horror. Think about mm-hmm. that. Think about all the you the make odd that really mix, yeah. the mi- mixed match. Pete, oh, oh, that's a good good idea. Chris. Thank you. That is a really good although, idea. like you say, it's underutilized. Um, one thing that I did want to mention, um, one that's usually not touched, um, is Creature of the Black Lagoon, yeah, and I'm kind of. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that it's not because I don't like it. He, need, he, he, he needs, they need, she, it, the cre- creature needs its its t- time to shine again. Again, I, it is a hard okay. one, one to do exactly simply because of the the title alone. Uh, and you know these days it'll end up just be, being like the the creature or Black Lagoon or or the the lagoon. Uh, they'll they'll ch- change it up because it admittedly it is kind kind of a s- silly silly title, um, but uh, it it is just a classic tradi- traditional mo- monster. Yeah. Uh, and I, I there's like this I- issue to today where people want big bigger broader store stories. Mm. I would like to I would like to see just a a straight up up old fashioned take on. The creature from the Black Lagoon d- done today. D- today, a m- monster that is a mon- monster. Mm. Why not? Yeah, maybe. You know? But to me, it's like 
it's the weakest of the classics, well, you know, because it's because they don't ever do, do anything. It, it, well, that yeah. that too, and for a reason because they're scarier. There's other approaches. You can't romanticize a creature coming out of the water and it's all slimy and smelly. That's the, and that's the thing. Oh, well, they, they uh, yeah. do ro- romanticize th- things like that with like Swamp Thing and and whatnot. <laughs> not uh, sh- Shape of Water. Uh, which yeah, is kind yeah, of but, like a creature from the yeah, Black I guess, Lagoon. I guess you're right, but it's. Degree. Yeah, I guess, but it's yeah, it's. No, I, I get what you're you're, yeah. you're saying. Saying you've got you've got a you've got a point. Um, mm-hmm. You have to really change it. Take in order like I to said, that just that core con- concept. Fish man, <laughs> you know. Uh, Sounds disgusting. Fish man does 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 things. Are people scared scared of fish man, or do people love love the the love the fish man? Well, they love Aquaman, so <laughs> do, do they though? <laughs> do do they? Hey, or do we just just love making fun? Of uh, anyway, ways. I guess that'll do do it, guys. Uh, please do check out our web, website lrmonline.com every day for all these sto- stories and and more more uh all of our podcasts anim- anime versal re- reviews breaking geek radio i'm gonna hey look at that cookie war- warning uh here's our stuff oh wow that's way too zo- zoomed in but yeah all of these wonderful full podcasts the the cantina Mar- marvel multiverse mayhem we're gonna be t- talking ghost rider this week uh, for for halloween for halloween for Halloween, jeez, one day I'll be able to talk. And uh, yeah, guys, all, all of that's available there. And of course, our YouTube ch- channel is not the front page of YouTube, but it's this one right right here. Lots of celebrity interviews. All those podcasts get put up here in in a video format. Many of them have full full videos like this, uh, anim- anime versal reviews, and and the the cantina. Uh, we we're we're every everywhere where guys and it's it's all all free all all in, all included so like share sub- subscribe thumbs up down comments if there's something we're doing kind of crappy let let us know so we can try try to make it uh better for better for you guys guys and yeah uh Christine anything else you wanted to say uh no <laughs> oh, I, I think right. I think we covered it cool thank you guys so much for listening and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow bye.